Uh, lesson five, we're going to take in two different parts. Uh, the first part is going to be the warm-up problem you see here. Uh, we're given the following ellipse with its equation shown, asked to find the slope of the tangent line at x equals 2. So use what you know about the derivative so far and calculate the slope being asked for. Now that you've had a chance to solve this problem yourself, uh, let's talk a little bit about what makes it different uh, and the way that most people typically approach this problem the first time they see it. Now 4x squared plus y squared equals 64 is what is known as an implicit equation. And it is implicit because it is written in terms of both variables, both x and y. Of course, the variables can be any two variables, but both independent and dependent variables, both x and y. The types of equations we're used to working with when calculating derivatives up until this point are what known what are known as explicit equations or explicit functions. Uh, and these are functions where the dependent variable is written in terms of the independent variables. Uh, in other words, an equation where y is written in terms of x. That's what we're used to. So the way most people approach this derivative problem is they take our implicit equation and turn it into an explicit equation so that we can take its derivative. So that means taking 4x squared plus y squared equals 64 and isolating y so that y is written in terms of x. So we'll move the 4x squared to the other side, 64 minus 4x squared, and take the square root. y equals the square root of 64 minus 4x squared. Now the problem with this now explicit form of our equation is that it actually only represents half of our ellipse. And that's because when we take the square root of both sides, we have to remember that there are two different possible outcomes, and one is the positive square root and the other is the negative square root. So we actually get both of these uh, versions of explicit. So it doesn't translate very cleanly into an explicit equation, but it turns out we can still solve the derivative this way. So uh, I want to know what the slope of the tangent line is, so I'm gonna take this function and calculate its derivative. So the rate that y is changing as x is changing is equal to, remember that that square root's an exponent of 1 half, so we'll do the power rule, 1 half, 64 minus 4x squared to the negative 1 half power, and then uh, we'll multiply by the derivative of the inside using the chain rule, times negative 8x. Uh, simplifying, that's gonna give us negative 4x over the square root of 64 minus 4x squared. And in order to calculate the slope we're being asked for when x is equal to negative 2, we'll plug negative 2 into this solution, uh, giving us 8 over the square root of 48. Uh, sorry, we're plugging positive 2 in, giving us negative 8 over the square root of 48. Uh, which simplifies to 2 over the square root of 3, negative 2 over the square root of 3. Uh, this answer is approximately negative 1.15, which when we go and examine the tangent line on our graph, looks like it kind of makes sense. Something a little bit steeper than negative 1 seems like a reasonable result for our slope. Uh, the only difference with our second version of the function when we put it in explicit form, and if we wanted to work it out in detail, we could go ahead and do the derivative of it as well, but this negative sign is the only difference, so it's going to give us a slope of approximately 1.15, which hopefully also uh, makes sense as an answer 
especially given the symmetries of an ellipse, we'd probably find it reasonable that the slopes are opposites of each other, whether we take the top half of the ellipse or the bottom half of the ellipse. And so we have two different slopes when x is equal to 2. So this is a very common approach to a question like this. Take that implicit form, try and rewrite it in an explicit way, and then take the derivative normally. There's so one other question then we might ask ourselves, and that would be, what if we wanted to calculate the slope of the following equation, x squared plus y equals, or minus y cubed equals one? Well, if we were to approach this problem like we did the one before, we would try to isolate y. And once we had isolated y, we would then calculate the derivative of that equation. However, we're going to find that it is not so trivial to isolate y in an equation that looks like the one that we're looking at. Uh, and so it might be useful to, say, look for a different way to approach the problem. We wonder if it is possible to calculate the derivative of this thing without isolating y first. And if we did try and do that, what would that look like? Uh, that's going to be the topic of our next video. You're more than welcome to play around with this implicit equation and see if you can calculate the slope of its tangent line at the given coordinate. Uh, but we're going to look at a, a different way to approach this problem in the next video, giving us uh, a way to calculate these slopes and derivatives.